Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 19 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In the previous video we added our master data to the database. Now let's insert our product data to the DB. Open Add Products page. First we need to bind our dropdown. So in page load create functions to fill our dropdown. Declare connection string globally so we can use it in all functions and events. Subcategory is bind with the selection of main category. Create a selection changed event. Next we need to bind size with brand category subcategory and gender IDs. Delete the text box and add a checkbox list. Then create an index changed event in gender. Bind data table to checkbox list. Change direction to horizontal.
Another problem is, when we select the gender without selecting other values we get null exception. To solve this, only enable controls that are actually ready to use by the user. In page load we only need brand and category, so disable other dropdowns. Now the controls are disabled. Now we need to enable the subcategory after selecting main category. Also enable gender after selecting subcategory. Check the selection is empty or not. Now we binded all drop downs with validations. So let's insert our products to the DB. In this case we need to insert data to products product image and size quantity tables. So first add data to products table and get the inserted product ID. With this product ID we can insert data to other table referring this product ID. This is our add button click. We need to get the product ID after inserting, so we can insert data with procedure. Give a name to our procedure.
Make sure you added data reference. Next pass all the parameters to insert our data. Get drop down values. Actually, we don't really need the size ID column because we already inserting it in another table, so remove the column from table. Remove foreign key. Click update. Next we need to insert checkbox values. So when the checkbox is checked insert 1, otherwise insert 0. Now our parameters are ready. Now we need to get the product ID after inserting these data to the product table. So we use execute scalar. We store our PID in a long variable. Next let's create our procedure. Use select scope identity to get the product ID that are inserted. Now put a breakpoint and run.
fill required details. Click Add. Now you can see all data is fetched. In PID we get the inserted product ID. Check table. All data is inserted in products table. So in the coming tutorials I will show you how to insert product data to other tables. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.